Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing how to use the animated sprite node in Godot 4. To get started, let's go ahead and create an animated sprite 2D. We can go ahead and hover to animation, click sprite frames, new sprite frames. Go ahead and open up that up. And we'll click this grid button right here. And we will select our frames. Here we will have this setup screen. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll set the horizontal size to eight. And as you can see, there is a separation between my penguins. This is four pixels. So up in separation, I will click one, two, three, four. And now they will all be perfectly separated. Let's do the same thing for the vertical. I have five, so five on the vertical and one. And now we have them all set. And now for this particular animation, we can select which frames we would like to use. So I will use this one and this one. I'll add those. And to fix this blurriness, I will head over to Texture, Filter, Nearest. I can also go ahead and rename this to Walk Forward. And now we'll save that. Let's create a new script. In here, I will control and click over my animated sprite. Let's just rename this to Anim. And same as our animation player, we can simply type anim.play, walk forward. Press play now, you can see it automatically plays. And for whatever reason, if you would not like it to loop, you can press the stop loop button. Now for animation sprite 3D, we can go ahead and type animation sprite 3D. Let's go back over to our 2D scene. We can right click, save our sprite frames. I'll just call this penguin frames. Save that, head back over to here, click on the sprite frames, press load, press our penguin frames. And you can see we still have this blurry effect. Go ahead and head over to flags, go down to texture filter, and select nearest. And animations work just the same. If you've ever played Doom or a similar game from the era, you might notice that the objects are actually just 2D sprites. This is an effect called billboarding. We can achieve this by heading over to flags, selecting billboard. We can press enabled for it to always face the camera no matter the rotation. Or if we want to be more Doom style, select just the Y axis. And now you'll see. It will always face the camera. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.